Hi, my name is Lorna. Until five years ago, I was a mum, a wife, a friend. I had a social life and a career. My husband Andrew and I were sharing parenting and family responsibilities. And then Andrew became ill with encephalitis. A delay in diagnosis meant he was left with severe difficulties afterwards, including problems with memory and thinking, fatigue, anxiety and mood. He couldn't return to work and he struggled to help with the kids or look after the family. Our lives completely changed. I was still a mum, but with single parenting responsibilities. I was still a wife, but also now a carer, a PA, and an advocate for Andrew. I didn't have time or energy for social life, and I couldn't work full time any longer. I was worried for the present, but also for the future. I saw the legal advice page on the Encephalitis Society's website, and I got in touch. Having legal support, it helped us to navigate the myriad of issues. We managed to secure an interim payment, which enabled Andrew to access rehabilitation and get other social and financial support. Suddenly, we weren't alone and we didn't feel as lost anymore. There were people there who knew how to help us and who cared. Five years on and we can start making plans again. We didn't go back to the life before encephalitis, but the support we received helped us build a new one. Our encephalitis journey is not yet finished, but we look more hopefully to the future now. Of course, it wasn't just about the money that has helped us secure the care we needed for Andrew. There were also changes about how encephalitis cases were diagnosed and managed. That means things will be different for patients and families diagnosed in the future. In fact, whilst the compensation has smoothed the way, it's this that actually matters most to us.